Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not easily angered. And it keeps no record of wrongs. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Rebecca, you are my best friend, and I want nothing more than to spend every lasting moment of my life with you. I couldn't have prayed for a woman like you even if I tried. You are my angel from above, and out of all of God's creations, you will always be my favorite. He has blessed me beyond my dreams. When you smile, the world stops spinning. When I look into your eyes, I lose my breath. The beauty that you behold never fails to leave me paralyzed. Growing with you feels effortless. Spending time with you feels like a dream. You make every day unforgettable and you show me how to appreciate every little thing. We will forever be unstoppable. I vow to be your light on your darkest days. I promise to always be your biggest fan. I promise to cherish every moment that I have with you. I promise to always be humble and gentle and to love you as Christ loved the church. I promise to be the best husband and person I can ever be for you. For the rest of our lives and even in heaven, I vow that my love for you will never fail. I vow to love you relentlessly and I vow to never stop. Jonah, I think there's only one way to really start this vow. Looks like we made it. You are so incredibly gentle, caring, and nurturing. Your love brings out the purest form of me in all the best ways. It reminds me that I'm safe, loved, and cared for. You are truly the most beautiful person I have ever been able to know. I could talk forever about everything I love about you, like the way you look at me, the ridiculous things you do in public just to see me smile. I love the family that you bring with you. I love the way you make every moment feel like it's the best moment of our lives. I promise to always be a kid with you and to live life to the fullest like you always remind me to do. I've told you this a million times, but Jonah, you impress me. I make this unbreakable vow to you. I promise to love and respect you unconditionally and to support you through all that you do. I pledge my love and my life to you. I will spend the rest of my life loving you and trying to be the best wife that you so deserve. Can you take Rebecca as your wife? Joining with her today in spirit, offering your friendship and loving care, do you promise to honor her growth and freedom as well as your own, to cherish and respect her, to love and embrace her in times of challenge as well as in times of joy? I do. And do you, Rebecca, do you take Jonah as your husband? Joining him today in spirit, offering him your friendship and loving care? Do you promise to honor his growth and freedom as well as your own? To cherish and respect him, to love and embrace him in times of challenge as well as in times of joy? I do. I offer this ring as a symbol of my love and devotion. Let it always be a reminder of my vows to you. I offer this ring as a symbol of my love and devotion. Let it always be a reminder of my vows to you. By the virtue and authority vested in me under the laws of our beautiful state of Florida, I now have the privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Jonah, you may kiss your beautiful bride. Jesus Christ be the foundation of your marriage and the foundation of raising your children and nobody and nothing can ever get in the way of your marriage. Welcome to the family, Jonah. Thank you for the huge family that I now have. Long life. God bless you. I love you both.
very proud, the woman she's become, and what she's accomplished in her life. She's always been the one that's always focused on what she wanted, knows what she wanted, and, and she goes and gets what she wanted, and she gets that from her mother. I'm very happy for the both of them. I wish them the best of luck. When you love someone enough, you'll do anything for them. You'll be there for them, you'll care for them. Thank you.